In this video, you'll learn how to create an interactive Bitmoji virtual classroom in PowerPoint, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we make weekly tutorials to help educators and creators spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then smash that subscribe button now. Whether you're an educator or a business professional, an interactive virtual classroom or office instantly adds new life to your online meetings, keeping it fun and engaging. You'll have the ability to build just about anything you want, but typically these come in the shape of a classroom or an office background, along with furniture and decor to spice it up. You also have the ability to enable interactive features with hyperlinked media elements, such as documents, videos, or anything worthwhile linking to. And you can create these virtual classrooms inside PowerPoint to then share them publicly. So stick around till the end to see how to create the link to view the interactive slide online. To help you get started, I've built a couple background templates you can use to save you some time when building these. You can access those files for free using the link below in the description. For this exercise, I'm using the online browser version of PowerPoint to create the virtual classroom. Once inside PowerPoint, we'll click on blank presentation. Let's go ahead and remove these boxes here so we have a blank slate to work with. Next, we're going to import our background template to customize it. So click up here, click on insert, then over here on pictures, then click on insert picture from this device and locate the background image and select to open. Once the image is loaded on your screen, grab hold of the handles to scale up the image, line it up to the corner and scale the rest of it to fill the entire frame like this. Now, let's bring our Bitmoji avatar into our virtual classroom. The best way to do this is to use a Chrome browser. Download the Bitmoji Chrome extension, log into your Bitmoji, and that will make this button up here active so when you click on it, you have access to search the different emotes. I'm going to search for a full body image by typing the word full, and we're going to pick this one right here with the hearts. Simply right click on the one you want and copy the image. Then let's jump back into PowerPoint and paste it onto our slide. Now I don't want the hearts here, so we're gonna right click on the image and select crop to crop out the hearts and then click out of that area to apply the effect. Now we can increase the size of our mini me and use this as reference for how to size other things we bring into the classroom. Up next, we'll integrate a few key components to our virtual background to add some character to it, things such as furniture and room decor. We can start with a chalkboard or a whiteboard for that instance, and we can actually just make our own real quick. Let me show you how. Let's click up here on insert, then click on shapes, then select the rectangle option here. This places a shape on your screen. We'll take it and expand the size of it and position it on the wall to your liking. Next, let's stylize our new board. We'll right click on the rectangle and select fill to select the color for our board. I'll go with the white here. Then let's click on outline to put a border around it. Go ahead and select your color as black, then click back into outline and hover over weight and select the four and a half point option to thicken the border. Now we have the search engine of Bing images at our fingertips to locate the decor to fancy this up a little bit. Let's click back up here on insert, then pictures, then Bing pictures. We'll type the word transparent before any search we perform to help narrow down images with no background. So in the search bar, let's type in transparent bookcase and we'll be presented with a lot of images. This image right here will do. Click to select it, then click on insert to place it on the slide. Now we can move and scale this accordingly. We'll place it over here. Let's bring in some floor coverings and search for transparent rugs. Go ahead and bring that in. Now some of the images will appear with alt tags. You can simply click and delete those to remove them from the screen. Now we can simply scale this rug to our liking into an area just like that. Now you see here the rug is covering up my feet. 
You can right click on your Bitmoji and select Bring to Front, which places it on top of the rug. Let's add a table now. We'll search for transparent table. Find one you want and insert it. Scale it and position it. Let's go ahead and grab a laptop right quick to complete the look here. We'll type in transparent laptop. Insert it, size it, and position it. And we'll finish with a clock, a transparent clock. This one right here will do. Again, we'll insert it, scale it, and position it. All right, that's enough decor for now, and you can certainly go crazy and add more to it. There's one thing I want you to do to kind of save the kind of template you kind of already established here. So go ahead and cut your Bitmoji from the slide. Then go up here to File and click to Download As. This will download the classroom design as it is right now as a backup and as a way to use the image for multiple days of the week or slides. Once that is downloaded, paste your Bitmoji back onto your slide. Let's now add in some of the interactive elements available for your classroom, including on-screen text, videos, and external links. So let's click up here on text box and let's type in something related to your message or perhaps an announcement. I'll place this text for my free guide. Let's then double click on the text to open up the text formatting options. Here, you can change the color, select a font and a font size. Then reposition the text box to fit on your board. Next, I'm going to create a button with a rounded rectangle, then type some text inside the button. And with the text selected, I will right click and select link. Then I'll paste my link and click insert. Now, this text right here is clickable to my landing page. You can see how useful that function could be. And since we have this spot open on our wall, let's add a virtual TV by placing an online video in that spot. To do this, click on insert, then over here, click on online video, paste your video URL and click insert. Now we'll go ahead and position this video properly onto our background. And when viewers see this on the front end, there will be a play button to play directly from the slide. Let's format this video right quick. Right click on the video and click on outline and select the color for your border to help separate it from the background. All right, there is our completed virtual classroom. Pretty cool, relatively easy, and an unlimited amount of creativity. Now, sharing your slide can be tricky because there is a share button on the screen here you can use. However, the link you're sharing is the actual project file for the presentation, which means when it's clicked, it will bring people into your editable presentation and you don't want that. What you want is the ability to publicly share this PowerPoint slide as an interactive presentation. So let's click back up here on the share button, but instead of sending out the link, click on copy link here and then click copy the link. Now open up your text editor and paste this link into a document. Next, we need to add this snippet of code to the end of that copied link like this. Now, copy this entire link, open up a new tab, and enter the new link. There you go. Your interactive virtual classroom will load with the ability to click on our links and play the video right there from the hosted slide. You've got to have that snippet to complete the URL in order for the slide to show up online. So take that URL and share it on your platforms accordingly. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.